Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for something unique they're doing with the newest the next DC animated film. Let's talk so, about what happened years and years ago. So, a very, very long time ago, everybody and their mom hated Jason Todd. Yeah. So, what did DC do? They had a 1 900. You! They had, yeah, they had you call in to a 1 900 number to decide should. Was it Jason Todd live? Or should Jason Todd die? Now, a bit of backstory on that, because I actually noticed, even though you were the DC fan, I actually noticed uh, a story was Jason Todd was searching for his biological parents. Yes. He did find something about his biological mom, which inadvertently eventually led him to the Joker, who then proceeded to beat the shit out of him with a crowbar. And that's where they left it to where they asked the people to call into a number asking, you know, do you want to see him live or do you want to see him, you know, him gone? And this is the funny part. I, this is the part I found funny. Is like, while, yes, the consensus was to kill Jason Todd, people were still pissed because while they hated Jason Todd, you technically killed Robin. Yeah. You technically killed Robin. Now, nowadays, they kind of fixed it with the Red Hood situation a bit. They kind of... When they brought, when they brought him back in, in a way where they brought him back into a way where... His, 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 uh, mo you know, the way he thinks now makes his moral, sense. His, his moral, moral compass He has sense. his own moral compass now. Yeah, he has his own moral compass now and things like that. But now we are getting, you know, now the animated version of it. Because uh, we did have a, a kind of, a, uh, they did kind of do that in another movie. But this time they're doing, I guess they're sticking to what to the original story, the OG story. Because I think it was the Red Hood one where they kind of like, they showed a little bit of it when it happened. Here, we're following the deep dive into the story with a, with a twist. Now, it's being more interactive for the film. Yeah. yeah to yeah. where there's a certain part in the film when it'll ask you, do you want to see him live or die? And you see the movie play out the rest of that point from that point forward. If, if he lived or if he died. So, they still now have that choice in there just to see what would have happened. Yeah, this, I don't know, I don't know, I feel weird about them just bringing this flat, bringing this back, considering we, you know, it's... I think it's their first time trying to, inter you know, do something a little bit more interactive, and I think they wanted, it's like, let's see how this works, if it does well, maybe we could do possible future... I think films. my biggest problem with this is, knowing full well what eventually they did with Jason Todd bringing him back, is going to change the fate of things, because probably people are going to see, or more likely going to see, say, no, he's going to live, instead of yes, he's going to die. Because they want to see what they would do. Well, you know what would be interesting is that if they got the original writers and asked them, what was your original storyline if you would have lived or died? So I think that would be a really cool twist well, to where it's like, it's like we actually see what would have happened if... Well, I have no doubt did. that's what they did. You know, and, and that's what I'm hoping for. So let's just dive right into this for the official trailer for Batman, Death in the Family. An interactive movie. A movie. So you say movie? Movie. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Interactive movie. Sorry. Did you say move me? No, I said movie. Got you it. You're deaf. You said move me. You, you said, said movie. I said movie. You so, said. here we go. That's what I said. They should, they're using a lot of footage from Under the Red Hood. Oh, it looks cool. like they're changing some of it, looks like. Hell, 
Yeah, definitely. And they're adding stuff with Red Robin. How it ends is up to you. Oh, shit. Shorts, Batman. The way they say they, they titled so, it. So okay, I don't. Using, okay, that's why I was staying. I was watching. I'm like, I've seen this before. It's like that's what I was saying. They're using some of the old footage from the other movie I men had mentioned. Yeah. It's just when you get up to that point where it's like, okay, you make not two options, no, three options you could choose from, and it looks like yeah, it, it goes from either he becomes hush. I don't know. That's the part. No, no. Know. It looks like he either becomes. Not Hush. Why would you become Because hush? the way he's... No, because the way he's dressed up, and he's got the bandages, that's what I'm saying. The way... That's that, that's what I'm saying. That's maybe, what I'm comparing to Hush. Maybe one option, he becomes a vague-looking Hush. I don't think he's Hush Hush. No. no, no. <laughs> hush Hush. Um, uh, another one, he does become Red Hood, and that's where he gets footage from under the Red Hood. And then the other option is he... He, you he know, becomes Red Robin. He instead becomes Red Robin, which, which is weird... Because that's Tim Drake's uh, uh, post-Robin persona. Post-Robin, once he leaves and stuff like that, becomes Red Robin. Which Tim Drake is a lot of people... Ex aside from Dick Grayson, mm -hmm. are a lot of people's other favorites. Um, One of, a lot of people's other favorites, and he's still considered uh, to be... Everyone still considers... You know, you know, Dick Grayson's more like a son, but they said for... If they had to choose for a replacement for Batman, they said Tim Drake, because Tim Drake is like... It has the detective skills like Batman. That's one thing. But let's, that, but let's be honest. When they were doing Battle for the Cow, we all knew it was going to be Dick Grayson. Yeah, everybody knew it was going to be Dick Grayson. But here, I, I, I like how it's like, like you said, like I was saying before, you think, no, you have two choices. No, you have three. Is if, if Robin saves himself, Batman saves him, or if Robin just flat out dies. So it looks like uh, Robin lives, gives us Red Robin. Robin dies, gives us Red Hood. And what was it? What was the third option? That's why I said one is where Batman saves Robin. The second one is if Robin saves himself, and the last one, of course, is if pretty much flat out Robin dies. So, yeah. Red Robin, Hush Hush, and um, we already know Robin dies. That's Hush. Oh, not Hush. That's uh, uh, he becomes a uh, under Red, uh, Red Hood. He becomes Red Hood, and maybe leaves those two. One with Red Robin. Maybe Hush, I can't, I don't know. And that like, one's weird. That's the only one where I'm really curious about I'm curious going. because the way he, he was dressed up and we keep seeing him like that, it's like, okay. I, okay, my only beef with this mm -hmm. is that they're using old footage. They're using a the, lot of I, old footage. I think that's footage. the problem. I have a little bit, you think, you hear something like this and you think, ooh, they're, 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 they're redoing everything, they're going to, no, it's like they're using footage from uh, one of their other films I mean, I, I may understand why because everything going on, it needs something, you know, need work, you need to put do, put something out there at least for, you know, get people to watch. So I understand that part. So only really animation they had to really work on was only for maybe two extra side stories. That's it, you know, uh, of it. And even the way they titled it, it's like it says animated shorts. The way they say it. it, it really well, does. technically they are because yeah. you're choosing different paths. And of course, see, that's the problem I'm having. I don't feel like re-watching two Batman movies, like, oh, well, Batman movies stitched together with alternate yeah. Uh, takes. Yeah, because it's easy to showcase big... animated shorts, Batman, Death and Family. Internet I don't know, movie. this feels like a, this feels like a cash in grab. I think that's what they're I never to do. thought I would say that about one of these, but, like, I, like, I wouldn't mind seeing it, but, like, if they would have done this back in the day when it, it, the, the film eventually came out, I would have understand where I'm like, okay, cool. This is really cool. This is different. I like this. But yeah, but we, the, the, yeah, but of course we already got the Under the Red Hood film, which already gave us a bit of their version of the death in the family. Which yeah, of course they change it here instead of him trying to find his mom. It's a whole he runs into Joker, gets his ass beat, and mm -hmm. dies in an explosion. Well, kind of because in the original film he did what he was at the time. Trying, oh yeah, he was looking for his mom at the same time he was looking for drugs as well. Okay, uh, but. Like I said, I think, like, said, like you said, it is a cash in, but at the same time, I think it's only because with everything going on right now in the world, it's the type of thing where it's like, we need to release something. We need to have something that comes out. They are. It's called Superman Man of Tomorrow. Yeah, I know that, but I'm talking about more of like something for Batman related. I don't think they had anything pr uh, prepped up for that. Then just you know, don't come out with something. I, I don't know. This, 
like I said, this, I don't know, this one is a mixed bag. I think that's what this is. This one's a mixed bag, and not a lot of people are probably going to like it. Me, of course, you know me, I'm still probably going to watch either which way. Diehard Batman fan myself, but like I said, I think it's going to be a mixed bag for a lot of people. So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about uh, bats and the family of bats and one guy who dies and comes back, but in this Don't case... Don't go into detail. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this. Do you think it's a good idea what they're doing? Um, do you like that they're using some of the old footage and just adding some new stuff in it with the whole interactivity? Um, do, you, you know, do you like that? Or would you have preferred more of like a whole new artist, a whole new, you know, a whole new cast? I mean, just them reanimating the whole thing? I mean, what do you guys would have preferred? Do you like this idea? Do you not like this idea? Or, like I said, are you just, you're kind of like mixed with, you know, those feelings of how you feel about this. Let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Red Hood slash not so Red Hood filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.